Hello everyone, hello. Welcome to another playthrough. Today, we're starting a gameplay demo on the menu. Do you remember when games did that? They don't do that anymore, do they? Not very often. Uh, yeah, this, this is, uh, this is what we're gonna be playing, guys. Resident Evil. The remake, obviously, uh, in case you didn't know. Um, I have never done this game on the channel except for maybe a stream or two in the past. And I I've recently come to really love this series. So I'm going to go back to where it all began, kind of. Not really, though. It's, it's not 1996, it's 2002, roughly. Uh, this is the remaster of the, the remake that was on GameCube. Uh, in my opinion, probably one of the harder Resident Evils and one that I have not played through in a good number of years. Oh yeah, this, this is probably heavy spoilers. Like, actually, I'm glad games don't really do that anymore because we've just ruined like a huge boss fight in case you uh, have never seen this before, but I have. It has been a while. And we're gonna, we're gonna start it today. So, wish me luck. We're gonna enter the world of survival horror. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I love this game. I love this game. This is, oh, without a doubt, one of my favorite games in the series. However, I do remember it being super, super difficult. And I've, yeah, I, I can't remember the last time I played this. I might have to, like, check my trophies or something. Um, Resident Evil .net. Uh, no thanks. You can turn this feature off. I don't, what? N no. No. Anyway. Let's begin. Uh, this is one of the only Resident Evil games I've not done on the channel uh, at this point in my life. And it's about time. It's about time. Resident Evil. Okay, so we're going to be doing a new game. Resident Evil. Ooh. Oh, you just, I'll never get tired of that. So we're going to go with, uh, we're going to go with uh, wide, just like me. And we're going to go with the original controls. Now, these are tank controls. I could go with the alternate, which is pretty much modern controls. But for a game like this, with a constantly changing camera angles, I actually find it more of a hindrance sometimes to play with the modern controls. I say that now, though. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to the tank controls again. Because it has been so long, so... Uh, subtitles, yes please. And now we get to choose our difficulty. Now, the funny thing is with this game, is you'd think that, you know, we'd have, you know, I like climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. I like going on a hike, good exercise, but not too strenuous. And I like taking a walk, you can relax and enjoy yourself. You'd think that that would be easy, medium, hard. But no, it doesn't quite work that way. You actually only unlock hard when you beat the game, I believe. So it's actually like very easy, easy and normal. As far as I can tell, and this is always the logic I've gone with, so I've always gone with number one. I like climbing a mountain, so we're going to go with that. Approved. Thank you, game. Thank you, Capcom. Now, the first big choice we have, and really the most important one, is who the hell we play as. You've got the classic Chris Redfield. He's not looking quite so buff. This is this is pre-steroid Chris. Uh, pre, you know, before he, he learned his hatred of boulders. And Jill, who is, uh, well, kind of got a shoulder pad fetish going on. Nice beret. Uh, I... I know there are certain uh, differences between the two characters. For example, Chris gets l uh, less inventory, I believe, but can take more of uh, more punishment. Jill has more inventory, is a little bit more squishy, but she also gets uh, certain items that Chris doesn't get, and also certain points in the game are different. But I actually don't remember too much how the campaigns differ in that respect. So we're gonna go with Jill, because Jill 
is one of my favorites. Uh, and her campaign is just more amusing to me. Um, it's more amusing than the original game, for, for reasons that I will explain. But Jill, we choose you. We choose you, Miss Valentine. Ooh. Let the spoops begin. Oh, man. Let's sit back and enjoy the intro, everyone. The Alpha team is flying around the forest situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Oh. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Oh, Kevin! <laughs> Supposed to be serious, don't laugh. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into... a nightmare. I love this delivery. It's not quite a patch on the OG, though. Again, I'll go into that. If, if you are unaware, I will go into that. Gunfire, then I didn't see a lot of bullets hitting the target. I'd be gone. I'd be gone. See you later. Bye. Dogs. Damn it. Make for that mansion. Enter the survival horror. Yeah, it's quite the predicament. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker. Barry and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Who the hell is Chris? What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. Why me? I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. He's your, Stay our, our sharp. partner, you know. Jill, don't open that door. I do I do miss the original dialogue. The original dialogue 
the in the first Resident Evil was was gold. All of it was gold, pure gold. A dining room. Yeah, a dining room, Barry. And some ink ribbons on the table that I see. Right, we have control. So, this being a remake of the original Resident Evil, uh, it came out on the GameCube. Stunning. I think it, it still looks amazing to this day. This is a remaster, of course, but even the original, you know, apart from the sl slightly lower resolution, I think looks gorgeous. Um, and yeah, we've, we've entered we've entered the madhouse, the mansion. Uh, we, we've, we've been introduced to our characters, Jill, uh, Wesker, and Barry, fucking Burton, the... the the most legendous legend that ever did legend. And uh, that's why I like to play as Jill, because we get to spend some time, some quality time, with Mr. Burton and his, uh, his, his, his boomstick. So, we've got a typewriter, that is our save point. Um, I'm just gonna go on the assumption that most of you already know about this game and kinda know the deal. But ink ribbons are, uh, Oh, the only movement is the silent flicker of the candles. Flame. No, I'm trying to pick up the ink ribbon, Jill. So, ink ribbons are our save tokens. We are going to take those. We just picked up three. And uh, I need to remember the controls. Okay, so we have a handgun. Um, our health is fine. It's in the green. We don't have any defensive items, which will... They were added in this version, I think. A knife, which is completely fucking useless. I will never be using that ever. Um, although there is a trophy, I think, for doing a knife-only run. Which is something I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do. Because the knife is pure ass. It's pure condensed ass. Uh, it's, it's, it's just does no damage. Uh, we have a map of sorts, but we don't really know the layout of this place. Obviously, we've never been here before. Um, and yeah, handgun. So, how do I aim? Okay, I think L1 is probably... I mean, R1 is probably fire. But I don't really want to waste a bullet. Um, and really, the way I play this game is I... I try and avoid all the zombies. I... I don't want to spoil anything, but killing zombies in this game... Unless you get a headshot and you blow the fucking head up, you really, uh, you're really kind of shooting yourself in the foot more than them in the head. So, I don't know if I should save this early. We've barely done anything. How do I run? Oh, there we go. But just look how freaking spoopy this mansion. I think you'd better take a look at this. Take what a look it? at this. Blood. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Sure hope this is not Chris's blood. So, for those of you who don't know, Barry... I mean, all of the dialogue was awful, but Barry's in particular is stunning. A dining room. So, I'm going to be probably quoting that throughout the whole game, if it annoys you. Tough, tough titties. So, we're in a dining room right now. Uh, we're supposed to go through this door, which we will do in a minute. There's, I don't think there's anything else to do in here right now. That's a nice painting. But, um... Picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while long sword has pierced the head of the other. Oh yeah, they're having a right scuffle. Um... Imagine just stumbling across a mansion like this. I mean, we've not actually... Se I've, I've kind of spoiled it, the zombies, but it's, it's Resident Evil, so... Uh, we got a clock. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. That's a, that's a clue for a puzzle. Now, I'm not great at puzzles. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to remember any of these. Uh, so this is really just my, my excuse to, to rediscover this game. It's been so long. And I've kind of waited on purpose to try and forget as much of it as possible for a playthrough like this. So I really, really hope you all enjoy it. And these classic loading screens with the door. I love. I do. Alright. 
Now, I think most of these doors here are going to be locked. It's locked from the other side. Yeah, we better we better get used to that, Jill. <coughs> we better get used to that. You know what? I've, I don't think I've ever done. I've never gone up this way. At this point, yeah, I'm. An emblem of armor is carved onto the lock. So really, a good rule of thumb in any Resident Evil is to just check all the fucking doors, because they will usually. Do they do it in this one? Can I open up a quick map somehow. R2. Uh, oh, I don't know if they do it in this one. In other Resident Evils, they kind of show what doors need certain things, like certain keys, for example. I don't know if it does it on this one. But as you can see, if a room's in red, it means that there are items, I believe, to still find. And yeah, I'm going to have to get used to the ca uh, tank controls. There's an elevator here. It doesn't look like you can access it from this floor. Okay. I think... Is this the way to the kitchen? Last lock too. Emblem of a sword. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try and remember... <laughs> ...what all these doors need. But yeah, th this place is pretty creepy. I, but I love, I love me a haunted house. I, lo I mean, this isn't really haunted, but it's your stereotypical, uh, stere stereotypical, spoopy, spoopy uh, building. Here we go. Iconic scene right here. Hey, buddy, what you chewing on? Nice midnight snack. Oh. Oh, you're snacking on my friend. Hi, Jasper. I'm going- I'll be going now. Whoa! Okay. Okay. We've dodged our first zombie, guys. We did it. We're gonna be okay. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! <laughs> Let me take care of it! You do that. Actually surprised that took as many shots as it did. His gun is fucking powerful. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. That probably is something you'd want to report. Yeah. Also, I'm still pissed at Wesker. J uh, that we've just entered this super crazy, scary-looking mansion. There were some demon dogs outside. We've just heard a gunshot. We don't know where our friend is. Cri Jill, Jill, and only you, Jill. You go check it out. Yeah, you do that. Thanks, Wesker. What a brave, what a brave man you are. Thanks. I mean, at least Barry stuck with us. Poor Kenneth, though. Can I talk to Barry? No. I think there's actually something we can do with this emblem above the fireplace, but I'm, I'm thinking we can't really do anything with it right now. Anyway, it'd probably just take up inventory space, and that is a big part of this game: is inventory space, inventory management. Uh, like I said, Jill has more slots than Chris would have. Ow. But um, we 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 uh, we still need to be a little bit careful with what we pick up. Uh, what happens if I try going through this door? Ah, oh, it won't let me. Okay. Let's go report back to Wesker. Joseph. No, don't go. <laughs> That's bullshit, right? How many times did Barry shoot that thing for one thing, right? With with a gun the size of a small Malaysian village. He shot that fucker like three times. Also, I think that's like one of the only zombies in the game that's like, oh, a door. I know how to use those, thankfully. There are some, there are some that still use doors, but not many. But anyway, Wesker. Where have you gone? Are you still there? I've got some shit to report. I've got a man down. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. 
Okay. But I mean... He's obviously not here, though, or, or he would have replied, right? If he was in this room, he would have replied. Uh, but this this um, this um version of the game actually adds a lot to the mansion that wasn't in the original. I, I do. I think this is one of the best remakes. As much as I love the remake of 2 and 3, especially 2, they, they did a really good job remaking Resident Evil all the way back in the early 2000s. I think I was... Shit, I started pro uh, high school when this game came out. I was 11. Better finish searching the hall first. Okay, I'm doing that. Spoopy ambience. I love it. Uh, I don't think he's here, Barry. I love these camera angles as well. That's one thing I do kind of miss from the modern Resident Evils. I do like the over-the-shoulder view, but this is still... This just never gets old to me. Barry, he's not here. Also, you really don't want to try opening that door. It won't probably, probably won't let us now anyway, but you really fucking don't. Uh, how do I... Barry, he's not here, dude. Can I go upstairs? I thought it wouldn't let me. What a mansion. Can you imagine living in a place like this? I think, uh... Most of these doors are going to be locked. And what, yeah, it won't let us anyway, because we need to search the hall. We've searched it. He's not here. Unless he... Unless he transmogrified himself into a fucking chandelier, Wesker is nowhere to be found. Barry, what are we going to do? Now... In my opinion, I think it'd be best if we stay together. We don't know what the hell's going on here. There's obviously something fishy afoot. So I think we should stay together. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. No! Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. This mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Yes. Let's start from the first floor. No. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. You, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Okay. Jill gets the lockpick. She is the master of unlocking. And this uh, pretty much negates having to find these little small keys that, that Chris would have to find on certain doors. Uh, which, again, would take up inventory space, and Chris has less inventory to begin with, so... Yeah, um, Jill is, I'd say, is definitely the easier of the campaigns, in my opinion. And I don't care. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? But... Okay. But how will the other person know if something's happened to go meet up in the hall? And also, why are we splitting up? Is, have you seen this place? We just got attacked by a by a dude that was just biting our friend's face off. Yeah, let's split up. Yeah, we don't know where our captain's gone. We don't know where Chris has gone. Let's let's split up. Good idea. Fucking idiot. I love you, Barry, but this was not one of your smartest smarter moves. Um, I'm actually gonna go. I'm gonna disobey him. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out the dining room again. I have no memory. Where to start though, like, with this game, I'm gonna be flubbing around, getting lost, getting confused. It's gonna be, it's probably gonna take me a while to beat this game. Where's Barry gone? He said he was gonna investigate the dining room. He straight up fucking lied. God damn it, Barry. Now I am tempted to save now. Because, well, if I die... We're going to have to redo that whole thing. Um, which I wouldn't be the biggest fan of doing. But we do need to be careful with our saves. Because, well, there's only so many of them. But I think we'll... We'll save. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. Okay, no data. Mansion dining room. Okie dokie. 
Right. Now we get to go exploring on our little lonesome. I mean, I know Jill can handle herself. Jill is a fucking badass. Okay, also, kind of ridiculous juggle physics. Like, is she not wearing a bra? I, I don't know. Um, but anyway. Let's go the other side of the mansion. See what we find. Now again, most of the doors are probably locked. It's locked. Emblem of a helmet is carved into the lock. Okay. Ah, well, we're going here. Oh, I think... I think the map is in this room. Yes. I, at least I think that is. You see so much shining in that statue's hands. Pretty sure it's a map, but we can't reach it right now. Also, that, that, that bust is, is thick. Woman drawing water. Yeah, she, 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 T, T, H, I, C, C. Now, I think we need to move this to get to that. And I'm going to do, I, I, I'm actually going to do this. No, can I, Jill, do you want to climb, do you want to climb over it, Jill? Thank you. I'm not going to go through here just yet. Love these cameras, it's so cinematic. I'm gonna push this. I'm gonna grab whatever that is first. I think it's the map. I think it's the map. And then I'm gonna push that little set of drawers back to where it was. For a very good reason. There's a map of the mansion, first floor. Take it, hell yes. Why there's a map? There, of all places, I don't know, but as you can see, it's a pretty fucking big place. Like, I think even just the, the foyer is probably bigger than my whole house. But uh, we are indeed going to try and explore this in, in it as methodical way as I can. Again, I don't remember the, like, the order of things that I'm supposed to do. Alright, Jilly Bean. Time, time to get off the... There you go. Right, so I'm going to push this back to where it was. For a very good reason. Although it may end up not really mattering in the long run. And while I do... I do remember a lot of the early parts of this game. Or what happens in certain rooms, for example. I, I'm going to start forgetting. So while it may seem... Like I know what I'm doing right now, I guarantee you that will change very quickly. Uh, right, let's check through here. It's like someone's got some nice uh, <clears throat> artwork. Someone's a collector. Yeah. Okay, now. We have our first defensive item. Which is a like a fucking ceremonial dagger or some shit. Uh, we will take that. And that means if we get grabbed by a zombie, we can use that to not take any damage. Uh, it doesn't kill the zombie though. And it'll just it basically just lets you get away. I will take it. Emergency evade. Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. That's actually a good point. I forgot about that. Uh, so, uh, we must, and you must press L2 to use the defensive item. Okay. So, we've got that. And uh, the game's like, you know what, bro? I think you need, I think you need a tutorial on how, on like a real world scenario on how to use that motherfucker. Where the fuck he came from? I have no idea. And Jill, will you stop falling over? You're you're an elite operative. So I'm gonna try and ah. Uh, well, there goes our defensive item. Bye, dude. My dodging skills 
leave a lot to de be desired. You can, um, you can kind of, like, lure them into grabbing you if you're really good. Like, edge your way close to them and then back away at the right time. And they'll lunge for you and miss you. I didn't do it that time. But, uh, at least we haven't taken any damage. And now, he won't be able to follow us. Because he can't climb over this. But how did he also, how did he get to me in the first place then, you might ask? I don't know. Resident Evil. That's why. An old photograph sits in a frame. Maybe this person was connected to the mansion somehow. Uh, I believe this door's gonna be locked too. Emblem of the sword. Okay. Hey, Gaza. You can't get me. He's still got the knife in his head. That's great. Oh, man. I mean, that really should kill them, to be fair. But, yeah, he's no longer a problem. Okay, right. Well, we got the map, at least. Let's go find another door that we can uh, go through. And I think... We're probably going to have to go upstairs, unless... Hmm... I think we might be able to go back the way that we found Kenneth, actually. But the problem is, there is a zombie out there. So... Not too keen on that, really. Are all the doors locked? Our, our old emblem of armor. Ooh! That actually scared me. It's my fucking reflection. Okay, and also the... Oh, the sound of the, the lightning. It's just... I feel very cozy and safe in here, but also it's full of zombies. Um, I don't know why. Darkness and fog. That's locked as well. Oh, it's locked from the other side, so I don't need a key for that. I think this is above the dining room. It is. Ah, yeah, there's something we need to do with this statue. Oh, shit! Ooh, fuck! Oh my god. I forgot. He would be so close. Right. You follow me around here, buddy. I need to knock that statue off. Also... Ooh! Another defensive item. Nice. Actually shows it on a belt, too. That's cool. Right, we've got a few doors here. I'm not going to go through them first. Uh, we need that jewel. For something. I don't even remember what I need that jewel for. A stained glass window. The pattern in the center resembles a woman. Right, I'm gonna wait till he's on the other side. Ooh, I love the zombie noises. It's like me in the morning. Right, we gotta push this. Gotta, are we ready? I'm gonna push it. Push it real good. How close are you, zombie man? You close? You close? I hope not. Hope not. Push it off the balcony! Because vandalism, it's fantastic. Right, so now we have to go back down. And grab whatever that was. Well, it's a jewel, but... Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember where, that, where I used that jewel. I just know that I need to get it. Completely forgot that that zombie... was on that side of the room. I've just gone the, the longest way around I could have gone I, <laughs> to get down the stairs. Come on, Jilly Bean. Still think it's a stupid fucking idea splitting up. Who does that? Seriously. If it was me, I'd be I'd be clinging like a horny dog to my to me buddy's leg. I'd be like, you ain't leaving me! I don't- I don't want to go anywhere in this place by myself. Alright, let's go examine the, uh, damage we inflicted. 
Will you take the blue gemstone? The blue gemstone. Yes. Again, don't know what I do with that. Examine. I mean, that has got to be worth a pretty penny, right? You see the size of that thing? It's beautifully cut and polished. Damn. Jill, if we get out of this place alive, we are making bank. We can retire. That is... That is great. Right, I'm gonna... I don't know which way to go. I really don't know which way to go. I'm gonna risk going back this way. Because there's a door past where we found... Uh, Jasper. Is he in here? Oh, okay. Uh, the corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. Looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. VHS! Oh, wait. Well, not really. No, it's just a camcorder tape. Okay. Exit. So we've picked that up. That should be just in our files. Yeah, Kenneth's film. Okay. Also, we have a stars manual, which is just tutorial shit. Right, um, I don't know if there's anything else in here. Ooh, fuck off, Jasper. I'm gone. Just look at the lighting. It's incredible, and it looked incredible back in 2002 as well, although I didn't, I didn't actually play it in 2002, I should say. I, I, I wasn't really... I didn't play Resident Evil that much. It was, I think, four was my first one, and then, in years later, I did eventually get around to trying some of these ones. Um, so I, I do consider myself kind of a newbie to this series. Well, not really a newbie at this point, but you know what I mean. Like, I didn't really grow up with Resident Evil. Sadly, it's something I've come to appreciate in my later years. Uh, Handgun magazine, I'll take that. Although, again, I'm really. I'm only going to kill zombies if I absolutely have to. And there's a very good reason for that. Also... I wonder... I, well, yeah. You may be dead right now. But you won't be for, for the whole game, sir. So that's a big fucking birdcage. And we've got our first green herbs. Heels. Um, and I guess I can afford to take both of those. For now. I really... I'm gonna only... Mix those with red herbs if I can. If I find one, that is. Uh, can I combine the ammo with the pistol, or is it... Okay, it's just 15 in the clip. Uh, right, let's, let's go upstairs. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Just little things like the sound of the uh, the footsteps on the carpet. I, I love that shit, man. Oh, it's this. Oh. It's this corridor. Right, there's a door directly in front of us. And then there's a really long winding corridor that I hate. Mostly because these mirrors creep me out. Are you going to get up, sir? More herbs, I'm not going to pick that up. Uh, I'm just going to go this way. I don't want to go that other way just yet. My dodging skills are not up to par. I'm either going to have to start killing stuff, or... Oh... Oh, I can't really do anything here. I mean, that... Does that look suspicious to you? Does that look sus? Because you'd be right. That is sus as fuck. Also, this is incredibly suspicious. That is a key that we need. But I'm afraid we don't have the required item. What's through this door? Can I go through this door? Oh, it's locked. Okay. Emblem of a helmet. Right. Um, well, chaps, I've been going for uh, 
about the length of a, of a video now. So thank you for watching. Really hope you're going to enjoy this playthrough. Um, I've done other Resident Evil games on this channel as well, if you want to check those out. Please do subscribe, like the video. And uh, I really hope you're going to enjoy my journey through the, the, the Spencer Mansion. It's called the Spencer Mansion, it's a spoiler, but it's fine. Uh, I'm very excited. I'm also incredibly nervous because this game is really tough. At least for me. So, yeah, pray for me. Thank you for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.